Uh, the other partner of Celeste that you're going to be interviewing today is Aaron. And Aaron and Celeste primarily or almost exclusively do rope stuff together. And they do it, uh, it's supposed to be twice a week, Sundays and Wednesdays. And, um, and so because I know that they're going to be here using the space those times, uh, I make an effort to schedule other dates and things like that, mm -hmm. uh, especially for Wednesdays. And, uh, and it just so happens that it's mostly ends up being like new dates or first dates or whatever. And there's something, I think we're on a streak of like three, but it's just happened, You've had horrible luck. It's happened so many times. <laughs> I've had so many people flake on first dates on me on specifically Wednesdays where it, like... So, I end up in this thing where, like, not only am I kind of, like, bummed out, like, oh, this person, this person canceled on me, boy, 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 I feel bad for myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I gotta also, like, put on clothes and get the hell out of the house because, like, Celeste's other partner is coming over here. Um, yeah, and that's annoying. Well, it's this funny thing where, like, people, I think that, you know, other people hear about, like, getting sexiled or whatever when you're... Or rope style, rope style, or whatever you want to call it in this context. <laughs> totally taught me and, that. <laughs> and uh, and they're like, "Oh, that sucks! I'm getting kicked out of my own house, so my partner can like, fuck." And my experience of that is like, I don't care that they're doing this stuff. I just like, I just want to sit here in pajamas and feel sorry for myself without having to like. I just want to sit here and like <laughs> fuck around on the Wi-Fi and not have to like actually go out into the world. I don't care that they're what they're doing. Right. Well, you two live together now. Yeah. You both yeah. live here. This yeah. is last time I yeah. was here. You oh, we officially live that. together now, yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes. And I know people who have lived together and intentionally have, you know, money allows, like, two bedrooms so that that could right. happen so that yeah. you could at least totally. have, like, a yeah. guest room or, right. like, the kink room or something. Yeah. Um, but until that happens, yeah. then, yeah, you have to it's either... It's a, Go to the bathroom. It's or a small outside. condo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've definitely gone into this like a conference room next door. You can still like access yeah. the Wi-Fi. And oh, I've just cool. like yeah. hung yeah. out there. I mean, but it's cold. That room is horrible. It's just <laughs> also it's also just vaguely pathetic to like <laughs> wander next door <laughs> and sit there in this stupid room <laughs> for like two or three hours fucking around on the Wi-Fi until I'm allowed to come back like a dog that's been like... <laughs> God, you make it sound so doesn't... pitiable. It's super pitiable. That's why I'd rather, like... Fucking go to Starbucks, man. That's what I'm saying. It's like... One, one is like... I've, like, gone and done something with my time, even if the thing I've done with my time is just sat in a cafe and fucked around on my phone like going next door anyway. And the other is just like... Can I go back? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, ideally, the social plans I make would actually go through, and then I would be out doing things, too. Yeah, right. and then it would be really fun, and it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I've sat in the conference room, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, yeah. She's, she's there was one really awkward time where I think I was like, oh, well, I spent like a half an hour in the conference room. I'm going to go downstairs. Or I had to go to the bathroom when there's a bathroom in the gym downstairs or something. And so I start to walk out, but it's on that side of the hallway. So to get to the elevator, I have to cross this threshold. And like, sh they come out and I'm like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is really awkward, but he's like, he recognizes me, and I think it was Val, right? So she'd seen um, me once before. Amazing that I recognized you. <laughs> <laughs> of course you recognize me. For her, I think she did too, and it's not like we barely, like, I saw her in the car one time. Uh -huh. And then, like, waved or something. Yeah, and so really it's just like, out. I don't know if this is awkward right now or not, but it's feeling super awkward. <laughs> the, funny so thing, funny. the funny thing is that, like, we, I think are pretty, like, we're pretty compersionate or whatever the hell term you want to use. We're pretty good about the idea of, I think you like, and I are, but I don't right, know so about that's, any So that's so exactly our thing, is that yeah. we're really good about the idea of our partners fucking Sorry, other people. I don't know that. Shut up, Alexa. Let um, me shut her off. Um, we're really good about that stuff. 
but I think almost all of our awkwardness comes from like not knowing how other people are going to react to those situations. Right. Like if your date didn't know, if your date didn't say, "Oh, so where's your partner tonight?" and you didn't, and you you didn't tell her that, like, "Oh, both of us is in the conference room." I don't, even, down. I don't even know if but I knew that's where you were, but right. I so, think I'd gone out, okay. done something, and come back, and yeah. it was just oddly timed. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing of someone you've been seeing for a while, and maybe you met them yeah. or a few times or whatnot. But yeah, I could see how that, that like, right. wanting them not to feel super weird. <laughs> yeah, or just sort of like, I think our assumption is that they might feel some sort of like guilt or weirdness about the fact mm-hmm. that like that they're playing with their partner. Well, and I think also there's if they're at least a long term partner of mine and not just some rando I picked up, you know them well and have been to multiple parties with them and stuff like that. Whereas with Nick's partners, I like can't keep them straight. I don't see pictures of them. I'm not friends of theirs on Facebook or anything. I have no idea who they are. And it's like, oh, I said I don't even know this one's name. <laughs> not <laughs> that real there's awkward. not that many of them, and there's not that many new ones. Yeah, but I don't know them. I mean, for a while there, I'm like, is this the one who likes Asian art? And I was actually right, but that was... Not Asian art, ancient languages. Fuck! Central Asian linguistics. Okay, well, whatever. Um, I got it right at the time, right? Yes. Okay. (laughs) Um, But, like, literally, that was out of, like, three or four at the time. That was the only thing I knew about any of them. And I'm like, please, God, let it be. I have a 25% chance I can get that right. (laughs) So... No things. Ish, sometimes. I mean, I've met a couple of them now. Yeah. So you don't make a point. You don't need to meet each other's partners. It has, if it happens, it happens. If not, it happens. I mean, I... I think well, I have it open. Like, if it happens to work out, cool. That would be great. But yeah. for one reason or another, it's never worked It's out. not a requirement. It's certainly not a requirement. Um, I like to meet Celeste partners. Uh, but even to that extent, it's because if Celeste is seeing you... It probably means that you are some combination of cool and interesting and into some of the things that I'm also into. Aw. Thanks. Yeah. I don't feel that way about your girlfriends at all. Well, <laughs> seeing, seeing the guys with whom it didn't work out with you, seeing the guys who made it three eights in and then got, like, jettisoned, I'm just like, ugh, I don't know how they got that far. Well, so you don't think that my partners are... I know literally nothing about most of them. How can I think they're interesting people? They like to have sex with you. Cool. Obviously, have amazing taste. Yes, you do. No, they do. Oh, sure, of course they do. 